now to the crown, the TV and the real life version. Yeah, we begin with the ongoing royal rift and what could be the start of peace talks between King Charles and Harry and Meghan. We know that Harry picked up the phone and got in touch with his father on his 75th birthday. Meghan also spoke to her father-in-law and very, very sweetly, Archie and Lilibet sung, we are told, happy birthday for the king. The conversation has been described as a, quote, turning point for Harry and the king. But the big question, was it Harry and Meghan's team who leaked the conversation to gain positive press? Reading between the lines, the briefings seem to be coming from sources close to Harry. It's more likely than not that the Duke of Sussex was keen to get the message out there. Meanwhile, the Princess of Wales kept calm and carried on at an event in London. Have you met this? Kate wore sapphire and diamond drop earrings, which once belonged to the late Princess Diana. The tribute comes as Diana's tragic passing takes center stage in part one of the final season of The Crown, out today. This, this is a nightmare. Viewers won't see any images of the crash that claim Diana and Dodie Fayed's life. You only hear a collision before the episode dips to black. You know, uh, to, I always need to be really clear and say that what we, what we are acting out is Peter's interpretation of the way he envisions it, imagined it. Elizabeth Debicki and Khaled Abdallah had the daunting task of depicting the couple's final moments. One of the biggest creative leaps made by creator Peter Morgan. Tell me yes. No, 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 no. That in the hours leading up to the crash, Dodie proposed to Diana after just two months of dating. Do I believe that he proposed on that day? No, I, I personally don't. Now we do know Dodie bought a ring while they were either in Monaco or in Paris, but we don't believe that he actually ever gave it to her. I think the relationship was a fling. Then there's the spirit of Diana, which visits both the Queen and Prince Charles. It's over now. Be here forever with me, Carl. What do you think is the significance behind those scenes and those conversations? I think that they're just a really beautiful expression of grief. So I think the idea that Peter has of just sort of expressing that natural desire to just see just one more, one more time. time. 